I know, I got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> hey, what is up guys? It's Diana here, and sorry if I sound a little sick, because I am a little sick. <laughs> and today, we are back with a speed paint. Woo! And it's a character, my OC, who I love very much. He's my baby. And uh, for those of you who know him, his name is Loic. Woo! So, uh, it, <laughs> it's an interesting story about how, um, the speed paint came to be, because, <laughs> um, right now I'm just sketching it out roughly. Well, this isn't even the final piece, I was just goofing off. But the funny thing is, um, so at the beginning of the, uh, clip, you'd see me, like, doodling and then, like, all my lines turning out weird. That's because when I was starting out the project, instead of putting it at 2000 by 2000, which is what I like the um, image size like for pixels. I put it as twenty thousand by twenty thousand. That made my computer like a lot. But I was so impressed. Like when I actually found out, uh, when I actually found out that I set it at that high, I was like really impressed that my computer held up that well. Anyways, so uh, right now we're getting to like the finalized pose. Uh, I decided to do a portrait like the uh, first picture of Luke I posted looked like. It was like more of a portrait like uh i don't know upper body shot i guess and you see that hand i'm drawing right now i'm so proud of myself because i drew that hand without a reference probably why it looks so bad but it looked pretty decent in my eyes <laughs> anyways so um how this came to be is that i have this folder i have like immediately after i finish a piece i'll put it in that folder it's called old art because Every time I, after I finish an art piece, I always see what's wrong with it. And it's like, oh, this is, I don't like it. I could do better. So it's sort of like my, there's always room for improvement art, but you did pretty well sort of folder. But um, anyways, so I was looking through that and um, I was looking at the folder and <laughs> I, I saw the picture of Lewick and his neck was so long. It It is so long. And I'm just like, oh no, what was I thinking? Because there's this other piece I did. It was Zane from Aftermath series. And it's in my sketchbook. It wasn't drawn digitally. I'm still proud of that piece since I was trying something new. And I actually went for it. And it turned out pretty well. But one of my friends was like, his neck is too long. And I was like, no, that's just my art style. And then I got a bit pissy. But... I am looking back on it now, I'm realizing she was right. His neck is really long, but I still like that piece either way. But anyways, I was looking at Luik and I was like, wow, your neck is way too long. <laughs> but uh, it reminds me, there is this uh, K-pop group called The Boys. I know I'm talking a lot about K-pop. Don't even ask about that name. I, I know The Boys, The Boys, but but... They're a good group. Trust me. They're a really good group. I like them. Anyways, there's this member. His name is Q. Well, not his... <laughs> there's this member. His name... Yeah. Not his real name is Q. His, his real name is not... Isn't Q. It's just his stage name. And I was watching a guide to get to know, like, the group since I was pretty new to them. And somebody mentioned Q's long neck. And I was like, oh, dang, you're right. And while I was looking at Lil Guy, I was like, dang... He reminds me of a lot of Q, and, I, and then I, I just, I couldn't believe myself. It's just like, Diana, you failed yourself. You need, to, you need to give Luke some justice. He's your first OC. But yeah, and uh, I was looking back on the drawing, and Luke looked so lanky. I don't know. He looked like a thin noodle. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just how I saw it. And I was like, mm, you could do better. You, you could you could do better. Because uh, I have this certain image of Luik. He's my baby. He's so small. He's so soft. I love him. But um, he has, uh, he's, he's a certain kind of person. And uh, that picture <laughs> did not do him justice. Now, given that the whole uh, video that I did was like a, a tribute is that is that how you use that word correctly? I don't know. It was basically like a tribute to Leslie Lou Marie, who I still love so much. And um, I was trying to copy her. Well, not copy. I was trying to 
mimic her style in a way and i i did all right i guess but mm, it was it was a bit out of my range of skill it's still a bit out of my just a bit just a, it's still out of my range of skill but i'm i'm getting there i guess i think but um so uh yeah and i was trying and i did i i i I can applaud myself for at least trying, but now I know the important questions coming up. Why doesn't he have a shirt on? Okay, now, now, now calm down, children. Children, you're gonna need to calm down for a second while I explain. So, uh, the majority of uh, the people I draw are female, cause you know what? I'm used to drawing female, and and that's just pretty much how it is for most people if you're female you usually draw girls and if you're a male you're usually go you should, yeah, usually draw guys like when you're starting out to draw it's it's just how most people try like start out i don't know why you can explain the science to me in the comments if you want but that's that's just how i know it but um i i mostly draw females and when i when i look oh sorry i'm cracking my knuckles that's probably really annoying but um when I look at it, I want to learn how to draw males too. So I'm, since I'm like, oh, I want to do a comic one day, maybe do some animations. I just want to broaden my art skills. And recently I've been trying to draw um, people from boy groups of K-pop. And then I realized I can't draw males at all. <laughs> so um, I decided to like learn anatomy. So I went on this for like months on like nonstop. I've been drawing guys. Well, maybe not months. That's in a bit of an exaggeration. Maybe a, it's been more than one month. So literally my sketchbook is filled with doodles of like anatomy for guys and like references and stuff. And I sort of became addicted to it. When I tried to draw girls now, it's it's just not the same anymore, you know? <laughs> it's so weird for me to be saying this since I used to hate drawing guys. It was, it was not something I enjoyed, but... I don't know. I just grew with it. And, um, yeah, so that's why, uh, this drawing happens. Because I was like, hey, man, I gotten pretty good at drawing guys. Let me just show you what I learned in a very <laughs> not so good, uh, illustration with only an upper body. Because I'm too lazy to draw anything else. <laughs> the thing is, with full bodies, I'm so used to d drawing, like, portraits that whenever I try to draw full bodies, it's not like I don't know my proportions correctly. It's just that it feels so limited. And, you know, um, there's, like, uh, a couple artists that do, like, the get-to-know-the-artist sort of thing. And it's really cool because they do, like, their full body in, like, some sort of, like, laid-back, relaxed, like, natural pose. Like, I'm thinking uh, the one I'm actually thinking of right now is Straw with Waffles. This is... <laughs> is you... Is that how you, like, do, like, possessive draw with waffles? Draw with waffles? But, okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. But anyways, she did a draw the artist thing with, like, her, with her, like, in a relaxed pose with, like, a full body. I really like her style since it's, like, it's not simple per se, but it, it has a nice, like, clean f feel. And I really want to go with that because... Uh, with artists, they, uh, you have different styles, of course, but, um, there are those certain styles, like, the really, like, simple ones, like, that look simple, they aren't, trust me, with, like, flat colors and stuff, oh, I love those, because I saw this one, um, on Twitter with, uh, a fox, like, and people doing color study <laughs> studies with, like, really, like, minimalistic, uh, sort of details, I really like those. <laughs> They're, like, some of my, like, favorite pieces. I mean, I like complicated art pieces, like, well-shaded, as much as the next person, but it's just that uh, I can do those art pieces, which is why I think I love them so much. <laughs> I I'm learning, I'm learning. Though now, um, we're uh, going on to Luke's face. You know, whenever I do speed paints, it's sort of like me just talking about whatever I want to. And that's why I like doing these. It's so much fun and it's easy and it doesn't require a lot of work. <laughs> but uh, 
except for drawing the pictures of course but i it's like a sort of podcast i know <laughs> but um right now i'm doing luke's uh face and oh boy oh boy did i have the hardest time with the eyes i my favorite part to draw were like used to be the eyes they'd be so simple there'd be so many styles i could do and then it just suddenly disappeared and right now i just don't know where it went because i can't draw eyes like i used to i make everything too complicated and then i i look and i was like no that doesn't look quite right i've gotten picky if I could say that. And I've gotten really picky with, like, how I do stuff. Or, like, with my style. Like, right now, if you see Luke, I don't know what kind of style I was going for. Cartoony? Not cartoony? I have no clue. But I really, uh, I don't know. I'm really shooting my own horn here. But I really like how I did this. It looks like, it looked like something, like, a year back Diana would have wanted. Because it's... It's a style that I was going for back then. Like, um, for, I'm one who likes really, like, clean and crisp lines. But I sort of let that go, like, as the year progressed. And I'm just like, mm, messy lines, sure, why not? But it's it's something new, and I like it. Oh, my mom just went somewhere. She just closed the door. I don't know. Anyways, so, um, I like it a lot. And here, I changed programs to, uh, Krita. And if you don't know Krita, I I don't know what to tell you, but I love Krita. And um, I've been dealing with, like, coloring since I've realized, like, how not good my coloring was. Especially with that Luke. The colors didn't really go well, and Luke sort of looked like he was just glued onto the background. I've been sort of uh, trying to get better with, like, immersion of backgrounds. I don't know. I want to make the character look like they're sort of in, like, the background they're interacting with it. But here with Luke, I didn't really try since I was trying to more, like, uh, focus on the character. And I like how, um, something I really like about the drawing is that how I kept, like, the same sort of feeling of Luke. In the first picture, sure, I didn't illustrate it very well, but he looks, like, laid back like he doesn't care. And this one, I sort of kept it the same, but I changed it. But, you know, okay, here's something. There's something I always forget whenever I'm drawing Luke. In the first one, it was his, uh, ears i don't know what i forgot in the first one i forgot something i know i forgot his earrings and then then this one i forgot them too but i'm gonna i'm too lazy to change it so i'm not gonna change it but um yeah <laughs> but i'm here you can see me like fiddling around with like trying to fill in i don't know why but the fill bucket wasn't working it was probably because i wasn't like doing it properly or something i don't know i was probably on the wrong layer also because i always forget to do that that happened so many times this drawing i kept on going to the wrong layer and then painting like a full like half hours work or something no that's like i only spent like an hour on, on like all this actually no i spent more than an hour i didn't record it all because the face took so long but anyways I, I i digress i'm getting distracted but uh coloring took a while but with like Krita I I was experimenting a lot of, on Krita while I heard <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. I was ex experimenting a lot on Krita while I had art block since I had art block for a while. I know it's sad. I can't get over it. I had art block. Oh no, what was me? But um I really couldn't think up of anything, so I went on Krita and just like played around a few brushes and I found like they're like the really basic brushes of Krita that I really like to like uh, draw with and paint with. So I was going for this drawing. I was going with the more painted style, and yeah, it was it was really fun. Oh no! Don't tell me I for <sighs> oh my goodness! I I think I forgot to put in the other clips of me painting it, or maybe I recorded it somewhere. I don't know, cause I spent a long time painting it and i'm just like this isn't all the footage i had i'm missing something so i probably forgot to put in some painting things why do i keep on doing this it happened with the clover wait did i see oh i'm just gonna let her name out the clover speepy and i did the previous one uh and i didn't get to do all 
I didn't put all the clips in and then I had to stop the recording, which is what I'm going to have to do now. <laughs> and we are back and it turns out that I actually didn't leave out that much. <laughs> Uh, no, I can't believe this. Now it's gonna be at a different time and everything's not gonna be consistent. Anyways, I don't have much time. So, as I said before, I was... I'm sort of experimenting with, like, coloring and, like, doing a more painted style, you know? And I, I, I like how Luke's hair turned out in this, but it isn't, like, the blonde I was going for. I was trying... I like... Today, these days, I like shading uh, drawings in with a more of like a red tone, which I don't know why it just really makes me happy to see things with like a more red hue. But <laughs> yeah, I like shading in skins with like purples, which is something I did for that same drawing that I mentioned before, which is what I did with this drawing. And I don't know, it always amazed me how people can get such like a soft skin like texture with their drawings I'm just like, how do you do that teach me your ways oh no what happened here oh I guess I was like oh with Krita it auto saves and uh, it sort of lags me yeah but um anyways this uh yeah well I don't really have anything else to say except I love Luik he's my baby he's my first OC and there was this other character in Luke's story uh Here's me struggling with the eyes. I just couldn't get it. <laughs> but anyways, there's this other character in like Luke's universe with their stories are together. His name was Julius and I couldn't post this speed paint up because my flash drive broke. I was really sad cuz it was like a really good speed paint too, but oh well, I can just redraw him. I'll show a picture of him to you guys once I redo that drawing. Anyway, so we're getting to the end where I tried to do the background and I decided to do more of like a sky setting, like how I said, like I wanted it to be sort of immersive. I didn't really try, but I think I sort of got like the hang of it, and like I picked up a few tricks from like a couple tutorials on how to do that. Anyways, guys, we're reaching the end of this speed paint, and um, I hope you guys like how it turned out. And <laughs> it took me a lot of time to do it, and yeah. <laughs> like subscribe comment share whatever do what you want to but thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers for reaching up on that 1000 really soon and the role play will be up sometime soon i'm just really stressing going through all the skin making <laughs> anyways <laughs> anyways guys i'll see you later ciao